to my channel guys today is Saturday and tomorrow is Mother's Day just to give you some reference this video will probably go up maybe like two days later it is 7 40 at night I usually never start vlogs like this but I did something different with my hair and I wanted to show you before I fall asleep on it tonight I don't know if it's gonna look like this in the morning and I wanted to document it while it's cute I also have on lashes today by the way I did not go get them done <laughs> Oh, somebody's not happy. I know. Don't cry. Like I said, it's after 7.30 and that is bedtime for her. I just got finished filming a different video and she was in it, so she is sleepy. She started getting restless at the end of it. Wanted to show you guys her tonight too before I put her down. But don't worry, when I'm filming tomorrow, you'll see plenty of her. So I just finished filming her two to three month update and I mentioned in that video that we are using the Mostella uh, I'll just link this below, but it is for skin that is prone to eczema and she is starting to break out like she has eczema So I got that for her and it seems to be working, but it's only been a few days She just ate and I went ahead and got her dress for bed So she's just gonna wear this little onesie because tonight I'm going to put her in the Merlin magic sleep suit because we started to swaddle her with her arms out and She still has a startle reflex and it's been waking her up or making it really difficult for her to fall asleep So we're just gonna use the sleep suit and until her startle reflex comes down, which should be really soon, and then we're gonna put her back in the nested bean sleep sacks because those are our favorites. They're our favorite. We did this exact thing for Bash and it really helped. Night night, I love you. Mwah. Tonight, don't mind the laundry behind me, is a special night because this is the first time that we are putting Bash in his toddler bed. We took the footboard off so that he can now start sleeping this way. And I honestly did not plan on switching his bed until he turned three, just because I was always told, just keep him in the crib as long as you can. And I kind of still feel that way, but we are moving in like two months. So I need there not to be so much change. And if his bed is the only thing that's constant when we get over there, aside from like the family members, we need that. So. We took it off earlier, I should have filmed it, I didn't even think about it, and he instantly jumped into the bed. He loved it. As soon as we took this part off, he dove into it, and that made me really happy because he does not do well with change, he doesn't like change, and so we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping he doesn't try to take this opportunity to come into our room at night now, but we do have the outside door locks if he, if he does, but I really don't wanna to have to use those. Mommy's slippers are in here. Get your sleep sack on. Sleep sack on. I just came downstairs to get the baby monitor so that I can check on Margo, who is now sleeping in our room or should be falling asleep here any minute now. And then also so we can watch to see how Sebastian does. And right now I'm getting the biggest whiff of flowers. Brandon bought me, I don't know if you can see it because the light is so bright, the prettiest roses and lilies set for Mother's Day. He said he was going for something more chic than red roses and he knows white roses are my favorite and the lilies smell amazing. And there's so many that haven't bloomed yet. So this is gonna last a few days. And I'm really excited because I love fresh flowers. So I'm sitting out in my hallway because I don't want to wake up Margo. Um, so far operation, get Bash to sleep in the toddler bed is not going well. You can probably hear him screaming now. It was all fun and games earlier today when we took the rail off until he realized around 10 minutes ago that he has to now sleep in there at night. You hear him screaming, he's not happy. By the time you see this, we'll have been a few days into this, but if you have any tips on how to get your toddler to enjoy sleeping in the bed, let me know. I'm looking at the monitor and he's laying down, he's just screaming, and he's not even crying, he's just screaming. So he's laying down, He's got his bear over his face, which is how he usually cuddles with it at night. Oh, he just stopped screaming. Hopefully he gets used to it soon. I'm interested to see if he'll stay in there if he wakes up in the middle of the night. Hmm, oh, looks like he's finally stopped. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes since I've been on here, but I've been sitting 
out here because I wanted to see if I needed to go into Sebastian's room or not. And I can't vlog in my bedroom because the sound machine is on. So I can go in there, but you guys won't be able to hear me. So since I can't really vlog anywhere but downstairs at the moment or right here in the hallway, I think I'm going to stop vlogging for the night and then pick up tomorrow morning. We can see what this hair is looking like then. And also tomorrow, because it's Mother's Day and I haven't seen my mom since Margo was born, I'm going to drive down to um, her fiance's house and surprise her and just sit in the driveway, I guess, and try to talk to her. And I'm gonna take Margo with me because she's still exclusively breastfed. And I would love to take Sebastian and Brandon with me, but Sebastian doesn't and won't understand social distancing. And I can't do that to him by taking him down there and putting my mom in front of him and not letting him run to her. That would break both of their hearts. So I'm just gonna go and my sister is gonna be there too. She's been taking this really hard not being able to see any of us. So that will be tomorrow. And yeah, I'm gonna say good night here. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Happy Mother's Day. I'm in the car with Margo and we are stopping in a second at Dunkin Donuts because I want to grab some little snacky bits for me and my mom and my sister to have. Hopefully this goes well because she does not know we're coming but her fiance knows so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Margo cries anytime the car stops so I may have to catch up with you once we are moving. I'm also going to get a coffee because yeah, I'll catch up with you when I can keep the car moving. All right, so we're on the road now. Uh, I pulled into the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot and the line was wrapped around the building because I'm pretty sure everyone has the same idea as I had today, which is eat donuts on Mother's Day. So I called my sister and she's going to go pick up some from down in their area, which is an hour from me. So I'm just going to head straight down there now and then stop at my mom's house to pick up my sister, who, or by pick up I mean tell her to get in the car behind me because she's not getting into my car. And then we're gonna pull up to her fiance's house. I meant to start this vlog a lot earlier today, but the time got away from me because we did our Mother's Day celebration at my house. Uh, I got gift cards from my kids and then Brandon bought me a Chanel perfume, but it won't get here until next week week but it's Chanel Gabrielle it's the one that I've wanted lately I have Mademoiselle already and I love that but Gabrielle just smells amazing and I was hoping it would get here today so that I could wear it today but I'm just gonna put my toka roller on I also put yesterday's outfit back on although it was really like last night's outfit just while I filmed my sit down video so it's clean don't worry I took a bubble bath this morning also and I fixed my hair up which it's I had to kind of recurl it I'm not sure if it's if I love it, but uh, we're rolling with it. It's a little bit bigger today than it was yesterday. So I will probably catch back up with you once I get there because it is going to be a long drive. You haven't seen her since she was born. I haven't born. seen her since she was born. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, I miss y'all so much. Turn her back around. <laughs> oh, hey, pretty girl. God, I just want to hold her. You can. No. You're no different than her doctor holding her with the mask on. Oh, no, I'm just so scared. You want to hold her? You can hold her with the mask on. I got the mask on because it makes my mom feel more comfortable. I know the mask isn't pulled over my chin yet. But basically, I called her as I was pulling up, and I said, hey, um, have you know, have you talked to Amanda today? And she's like, no, she hasn't called me today. I was like, well, I'm sure you'll talk to her soon. I said, you have two gifts coming. One will be here in a few days, and then one should be here today. 
I said, oh wait, I just got a notification. I waited a little bit, and then I said, I got a notification that it's outside. And she goes, oh wait, somebody's pulling up to the door now. And then she came out, and that's when you saw us. She has been in lockdown from the very, very beginning, so I'm not worried about her having the virus, but um, she's real, like, nervous. You can hold her, Mom. I don't know. You can. Brendan oh leaves every day. Oh my God, you're beautiful. And her doctor held her, so if the doctor can hold her, you can. Uh -uh, I gotta get a picture first. Hold, <laughs> oh God. hold up your sign. Oh, you See, it's okay. Beautiful. Oh yeah, you know you love me. Do you remember her? It's been a little while. Look at you. You're beautiful. Hey, honey. So this is gonna be my mom's new house. And I love her gorgeous yard. And later I'll take you guys around the back cause this house is on a lake. We're having a picnic in the grass. Okay. My sister got everybody some fruit bowls. Chris said they were saying it's delivered. I said, oh, well it's saying right now that it's been delivered. So she was like, let me go look on the porch. But we were in the neighborhood, but we weren't we weren't like pulling in yet and I was like crap she's gonna you're already gonna be inside or go back in and then she she did go back in before we when we were pulling out said, then the car pulled up I said oh here it is they're delivering it now and I was thinking why are they delivering it in this car <laughs> and then I thought well I guess Amazon sometimes they do deliver people have their own cars in car. Amazon really well. I'm really glad she's surprised. I only wish that I would have filmed the conversation I was having with her on the phone when I pulled up to the house. It was still just such a good surprise and she cried. And we had a great little picnic talking out there. But yeah, so now I'm headed home and we are gonna go over to the new house and do some scriptures on the framing of the house before they put the drywall up. So the day has come to an end. I just took a bath and Brandon just made beef tenderloin steaks and potatoes au gratin for dinner. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Have